So, New Jersey, how are you feeling? Watch what happens. Boom. Boom, laka, laka, laka. Boom, laka, laka, laka. New Jersey is getting fried by very powerful, a very powerful pulse of radar. What is radar? Where is it in the electromagnetic spectrum? The millimeter wave. The millimeter wave. Alrighty. Well, I have been taking captures, and boy, do we have a lot of wars going on. Not just weather wars, but frequency wars. Uh, frequencies being used against us, extremely low frequencies, Doppler radar frequencies, uh, microwave frequencies. It is quite intense what has been taking place. And I have, you know, this is now, by the way, so look at this storm. Doesn't seem to want to leave northwest Texas. Nope. So, what are these frequencies that we are seeing? Powerful pulses of microwaves at the edges. Microwaves, extremely low frequencies that appear to be coming out of Arkansas. Arkansas. You know, earlier today I posted a video and they stated that Arkansas was next after, you know, Texas and Oklahoma, you know, got hit with these, uh, these manufactured weather events, then Arkansas. Maybe Arkansas is saying, get the F out of here. Pushing it. Out of Arkansas. Who knows? You gotta be in the know to know exactly what they are doing. But yes, these storms also have uh, very obvious frequencies that are not the typical high frequencies coming out of Doppler radar or the extremely low frequencies. Yes, we do have also other frequencies that they are using. So we still have our laser uh, party going on in Nevada, a little bit less than what I documented in the video that I posted regarding the tornadoes and just posted the last video I posted. There were many more lasers being shot off here in Nevada. But New Jersey, ah, wow, okay. How are you guys feeling? You know, these frequencies have been blasting away like I have never seen before. This past year, far more, far more than ever in my eight years of watching these radar sites. And, well, lo and behold, we also have a lot of weather events that just go on endlessly. But, yeah, it's not just weather that is affected by these frequencies. We are. Life is. Uh, the trees are. The bugs are. The birds are. The fish are. The four-leggeds. The effect of radar. I've posted videos on it, and I will... Uh, I'm not going to go through this, but it is on my playlist, which the playlist title starts 5G and I think uh, Wi-Fi. So you can either stop this video, pause it, and read uh, what I have highlighted. But yeah, the most common uh, subjective complaints from radar. This is from radar, okay? Uh, increasing use of radar and other microwave generating equipment by the military services. Well, uh, we need to have 
some information, a single source of information, on the effects of these radiofrequency radiation, you know, the biological effects, the effects on the human body. So, uh, <laughs> relatively low frequency electromagnetic fields generated sonic and ultrasonic oscillations in living organisms. Cells deteriorated. That's the extremely low frequencies. But radar, well, the most common complaints, headache, fatigue, perspiration, dizziness, menstrual disorders, irritability, agitation, tension, drowsiness, sleeplessness, depression, anxiety, forgetfulness, and lack of concentration. Well, based on the comments that I read, I think uh, many of you will identify with that. Yes, okay. So, uh, you can read what I have highlighted. You can go to my playlist and you can watch the videos. Biological effects of electromagnetic radiation, radio waves, and microwaves. Much concern has arisen about extremely low frequencies. Studies have suggested possible adverse effects on human health, cancer. And yeah, this is interesting. Similarities between microwave irradiation and drugs regarding their effects on the biological system. Okay, so uh, we also have, how about the bio, bio effects of selected non-lethal weapons, lasers, and other light phenomena, radio frequency directed energy. That's what we are looking at. That's what we're looking at here, directed energy. Directed energy. And boy, do we have a lot of directed energy going on. Hey, why don't I just show you a few uh, videos here. This was, uh, I caught this on the 8th of May at 7, 7.44 a.m. Looked at all of these extremely low frequencies shooting out from Oh, uh, Panhandle of Florida into Georgia. Well, in fact, they actually go. Yeah, a whole long ways. Go right through Georgia. We've got them shooting out from Florida, going into Georgia. Have this extremely low frequency going from Georgia to the upstate South Carolina. Um, let's see, what else do I have for you? Oh, what is it about South Carolina? Now, I've shown before these microwaves pulsing from, from the uh, uh, com straight through the coast of South Carolina. And yeah, lately I've been seeing the microwaves throughout the entire state of South Carolina. I don't, I'm not from here, South Carolina, so I don't know what it is with South Carolina, uh, but it could be the Navy doing sonic testing? I don't know. I don't know. But I will tell you, boy, it's having an effect on me as I'm doing this video. Yeah, what do I hear? Oh, the buzzing. Yes, so this, this was uh, the 12th of May. And as you see, whoa, radar lighting up, lighting up, oh, two thirds of the country. Uh, the effect of which is powerful.
on all life. These extremely low frequencies seem to be raging um, not just you know in South Carolina in many states but I happen to be in the upstate of South Carolina and I've noticed that the extremely low frequencies are really belting away here um, and let's see Looked at, look at these frequencies going through from Louisiana, out on Texas, a bit, in, a bit in Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska. Very powerful pulse, pulses, extremely powerful pulses, um, and what's happening in. New Jersey right now. Microwaves. And what I think is a very powerful pulse coming from Doppler radar. Yeah, you guys in New Jersey, let us know, please. Um, and it's 12 a.m on the East Coast and I guarantee if I go back oh I don't know to this site in two or three hours I'll see more I'll see more other uh, intense frequencies shooting out of our Doppler radar stations or more states firing up. I'm not liking this. I don't like that man is controlling how I feel and controlling our weather. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, well, let's just say really disturbing. So this was 5.15 at 12.31 a.m. and pulsing away. As they pulse away in these states, it has an effect on you whether you feel it or not. And look at these extremely low frequencies belting away in Minnesota and they create precipitation. You see the green? I'll go up in a second. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. This I'm seeing more frequently as well. Doppler radar, extremely low frequencies causing precipitation to erupt out of nowhere. Um, extremely low frequencies. This is, and the microwaves along the coast of South Carolina. California is always concerning. Very intense, extremely low frequencies being from Arizona and uh, and once again, what time is this? Three o'clock in the morning on the fifteenth, and you can see that not only is it in Minnesota causing an eruption of precipitation but it looks like it's causing an eruption of a very intense storm. Um, yeah, on the 15th, this was just six days ago now, um, very intense, extremely low frequencies, and you didn't have any rain in 
And look how this disappears. You didn't have any rain in California. Um, look how it just literally disappears as it gets close to the Doppler radar station. Um, do I have to put it back so you can see? Oh, it's just being eaten up. Okay, uh, we have a lot of, well, anomalies lately, to say the least. You know, uh, our Doppler radar stations now look like there's precipitation in this area, in every area. So my hunch is either there's more heavy metals in the atmosphere or the ionization is 24-7, which it is. Um, but look at this. I mean, come on. That is not Mother Nature doing that. So either they have um, changed the frequency of Doppler radar, I don't know. I don't know what is causing all of what appears to be precipitation right around the Doppler radar stations. Um, just wanted to show you this was on the 15th at 11:50 a.m. and a whole lot of frequencies set off here in Nebraska but all of what looks like a light show oh my god whoa what uh, what is that man well, incredibly dangerous, extremely low frequencies. Houston is, well, that's, you know, actually I'm surprised to not see it happening in Houston. But seeing it down here now is, uh, look at this, okay? Look at the span of these frequencies. All right, so that's, I think, out of the Panhandle, Florida. No, it's Alabama. And it's going all through Georgia, Mississippi, Florida, and right on to the upstate South Carolina. Are you guys having headaches or are you fatigued? Are you having difficulty sleeping? Are you hearing that buzzing or the chirping or the clicking or the humming, whatever it is that you hear inside your own brain? Is it louder at night? Um, are you having dizzy spells? How's your vision? Oh, this is a nice, nice burst of microwaves with this blob of storm. Uh, Illinois um, coming into Indiana boom um, are you irritable are you depressed are you there's a whole lot that you could be with all of these frequencies going throughout throughout our country, man. It's... All right, this is 516 at uh, 1030 at night. Look at the line of powerful storms in Iowa. Manufactured Got a nice microwave pulse over here and in Iowa, right along the border. And wow, look, this microwave pulse, boom, hits this and just, you got a, a shoot of I think 
they use those microwaves to steer. I can only think, I can only surmise. Um, yeah, this is this is not good, guys. Um, people are going down. People are really going down. You know, whether it's physically, financially, materially, like, oop, your home's gone, flooded out, or a tornado destroyed it. Um, this is 5:17 at 9 a.m. And I mean, it's really, look at this. You have these frequencies blasting away. They do seem to blast away along the coast, Gulf Coast, and then up, uh, I and mean, this is insane. This is really friggin' insane. What's happening here? This is the 17th, and today's the 21st. So this was five, uh, four days ago. Look at the, the right on into North Carolina, um, and then you have this shot from, I guess, Raleigh, North Carolina, into other states. Um, the effect is not good. Yes, mind control is also is also one of the applications of these frequencies. Washington and Oregon. When I first started on YouTube, Washington and Oregon uh, and also uh, Idaho, Montana, the west, the northwest was being pummeled with these frequencies. And it lasted for years, pummeled. Now I don't see them very often in the northwest. Now I'm seeing them the southeast. Um, May as well go through all of what I've captured. But, you know, it's everywhere. And California, man, I never saw this until a couple of months ago. And it's like every night. Is it happening now? I bet it is. Let's just go see. I hope it's not, but, well. Quiet relatively quiet in California. Not so much in this half of the country. Boy, I hope people are safe, man. Oh, God. It's just incredible what's happening. Here, let me refresh just to see if uh, any of these, if this has changed at all. Boom. Yeah. But it does look like there's even more frequencies, um, the extremely low frequency right here. Oh, boy. Wow. All right, well, um, this was the 19th. Look at what's happening. I mean, and then you have tornadoes, and then you have this flooding, and then you have, and look at all of these frequencies going on. This was 1232. I seem to capture at that time. Huh. 
12.32 a.m. The 19th. Look how unbelievably defined is this storm over here. I mean, come on. Look at this. All right. Um, I did see was it Pennsylvania? Uh, not surprised you had what they're calling tornadoes in Pennsylvania. You also have these, well, I'm not even sure, you know, what, what we're looking at here. This is Southern California, and this has been pretty much every night, late or, you know, the early hours, early morning hours. Uh, I'm, I don't know, but nowhere else have I seen that kind of frequency that is emitted from uh, Southern California. Yeah, these are all of your storms, but Mother Nature does not work in defined lines. This is the 19th at 11.26, and again, here we go. Our light show down here in the south. Look at this. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable that we never hear from the meteorologists. They just don't seem to want to acknowledge what is very visible. Very visible. So, let me see. No, I'm not sure where it is. This is also the 19th. Look, oh yes it is, this Pennsylvania. So you have tornadoes. Look at the frequencies going on in Pennsylvania. Extremely low, you see that what looks like a, a pie cutout right there, um, which you have many different areas of Pennsylvania. But those here, you, you also have that shot. Um, Ma'am, we're being destroyed. Oh, yes, we are. So, um, here we have a frequency going right along the coast of South Carolina. Miami got flooding again. So many areas. I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to just get them all. You know, there is so much flooding going on all over. So, um, here, this is the last one. Two o'clock this morning. You had these red lights shooting off one 
who are firing away. One, you have some lights just flickering away. Don't know what it is. Extremely low frequencies coming out of Oroville. I mean, that's utter insanity. Since extremely low frequencies can go into the atmosphere or go through the ground. Well, when they go through the ground, they loosen the ground. Boy. This was, well, I think I showed this in another video that I posted earlier today. There was no storm, no storm in, um, not early this morning. You know, this is West Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas. They created it. Hey. <laughs> so we are we are looking at two two AM East Coast and uh, nothing. So that storm that you see now a creation of man not Mother Nature. And they're keeping it going. West Texas, look at this. Look at these are just erupting out of nowhere. Oh my God, man. Unbelievable. Oof. Look at all of these microwave hits and boom, you've got that massive storm created right here, boom. Storms don't roll in anymore. They are made, manufactured by the weather terrorists. Okay, so uh, getting back to mm, the effects. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Deficits in spatial memory. Oh boy, they can decrease aggressive behavior or increase aggressive behavior. And we are seeing, actually, I got a comment from a subscriber who was uh, living in Kansas, and he said, everything has changed. He's in a farming town. Everything has changed. He said, you know, people, um, you would walk around and everybody would wave at one another and say hello. Nobody does that anymore. Oh, boy. If that's happening in Kansas, in a farming town, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. So, yeah, we, we directed energy. That's what you are looking at. Body, body heating to mimic a fever uh, is the nature of the RF radio frequency incapacitation. And I'm getting tired of having this induced illness that, well, I have had the flu, non-flu, that knocks me out for, but the onset, immediate, almost immediate. There, there's like, there's no reason for it. It comes at night, always. Comes at night. And it's been coming at night more often where I just feel like I can't hold my body up. I've got to lie down. And I, well, the last time 
it was like my stomach was really upset but I feel like I have a virus but I know I don't I know I don't never last long um, the flu non flu lasts for maybe a day or two and the suddenness with which I feel better is kind of like the onset almost immediate most people um, under fever conditions become much less aggressive some people may become more irritable uh, so that's why they like to cause people to feel like they have a fever they can mimic it with these frequencies microwave hypo hyperthermia even with only a one degree Celsius increase in brain temperature may disrupt working memory thus resulting in disorientation and that's happening that's happening to many of us the buzzing ticking hissing knocking sounds uh, that originate within or immediately behind the head oh there is no sound propagating through the air like normal sound but this is used to distract individuals to communicate with hostages or hostage takers possibly even by voice communication not only might it be disruptive to the sense of hearing it could be psychologically devastating if one suddenly heard voices within one's head so I'm going to leave it at that uh, 36 minutes 37 minutes too long but uh, yeah I tomorrow I'm going to be reading from that paper millimeter I'll I'll continue reading from this military document and I will continue biological effect of millimeter radio waves 1977 this was a Russian paper translated morphological functional biochemical studies conducted in humans and animals revealed that millimeter waves caused changes in the body manifested in structural alterations in the skin and internal organs qualitative and quantitative changes of the blood and bone marrow composition and changes of the condition reflex activity tissue respiration activity of enzymes participating in the processes of tissue respiration and nucleic metabolism the degree of unfavorable unfavorable effects of millimeter waves depend on the duration of the radiation and individual characteristics of the organism. Radar in the millimeter wave, in the millimeter uh, on the electromagnetic spectrum, millimeter. So, how are you feeling, New Jersey? Ciao.